Suzanne's brother, Andrew Mormon, says he decided to take matters into his own hands and he organized a search of hundreds of volunteers to comb the area near where Suzanne's bicycle was found, an area surrounding the home she shared with her husband, Barry, and their daughters. On Sunday, Andrew says he discovered what he believes may be case-breaking evidence and the FBI and the Colorado Bureau of Investigations have now taken over the scene. You're looking at exclusive photos and video from DailyMail.com. You're asking why the chase in the lead, got to got to throw it in the bucket. Well, today in a daytime exclusive, he joined us from Colorado immediately following his shocking discovery. Andy, it's Dr. Phil. Awfully glad to meet you, but very sorry for the circumstances. Yeah, it's been pretty rough. Thank you. It's nice to meet you as well. Well, we've been following this very, very closely, and my goal this evening is to keep a very bright light on this situation so nobody turns away from it, nobody forgets it, not law enforcement, not anybody in the area. Yes, so just know anything you want to talk about, anything that we can do to keep the focus on this, that's exactly what we want to do. And I understand that you have been out in the terrain, in the mountains, in the area, conducting a search on your own, correct? That is correct, yes. And I understand that there was some breaking news today that a, a discovery may have been made. Can you tell us what has happened? Well, um, we were fortunate enough to have search dogs in from Missouri and another set from New Mexico yesterday. And uh, we made a little discovery. Um, the dogs hit in a particular area, which we turned over to the FBI now. There's two areas of interest, and I've got a third one on the way tomorrow. So they actually hit on something. So tell me about these dogs. Two of them were small Australian shepherds, I believe. They were black and white. And uh, when they go in and they see something suspect or smell something suspect, they'll taste the grass and they'll circle the item many times, and then they'll finally sit down on it. And the German Shepherds behave almost the same way, only they get extremely excited. Their faces will wrinkle up, uh, their ears will come forward to catch scent. They'll also kind of scratch on the site. They'll dig. I hate to ask this, but are these scent and hunting dogs? Are these cadaver dogs? What type of, of training do these dogs have? A cadaver cadaver dogs. So these would be dogs that would hit on a scent if they were looking for a dead body, not a live person. Correct. Um, guy told me he had one of his German Shepherds hit on a War II bat. So they can smell back a long time. Do you believe that they have found your sister? I think there's a good possibility. And can you describe what the area is. Is this a, a mine shaft? Is it a, a grave site? Is it disturbed ground? Is it an air shaft? What kind of area did they hit on? Well, one of them's a river front. Another one is a tree planting. And the third one is a an addition being put in and the entrance area with blocks. Are, are these areas that would lend themselves to hiding uh, body or body parts? Yes, absolutely. So when those dogs hit, what was the first thing that went through your mind, Andy? I just said, damn, I can't, can't believe anybody would do this. Did you think it was something else or did you think they found her? I think there's a good chance we should find out in the coming days. And I always knew nothing good was gonna come out of this, Phil. But at that point, you actually said to yourself, I think they found Suzanne. I, I think it's a good possibility. We'll certainly see. Well, as sad as that is, you'd rather know than not know, right? Right.